welcome. I'm so excited that you're here. Okay, so guidepost number six is cultivating creativity and letting go of comparison. So when you think of creativity, at least how I used to think of creativity, creativity for me was like people who can like do calligraphy and lettering and paint really beautiful paintings and, you know, just create beautiful things. I surprised myself in 2019 by making this purchase of a Cricut. And it's this machine that you basically can use to make like different little things. And what I really wanted to make of it was with t-shirts. And I thought, okay, that can't be that complicated. I really enjoyed the creative process because I had an idea of what I wanted these t-shirts to look like. I just started like creating patterns, like finding images that I wanted to show up on the t-shirts. And I truly, truly enjoyed the process. And then that Christmas... I actually made Christmas ornaments for our family and friends and made like little stickers that would, you know, have their names on them. I thought that was really fun. And all I was to say is that I have never been a crafter. And so I was intimidated when I first started, but I enjoyed the process so much. And I really just started realizing like, oh, instead of buying like things that have labels on them, I can make them myself. And I just really enjoy that process. The point of my story is that you really don't have to be talented in order to practice creativity. Creativity is really just all of us have that. And I know that sounds so basic, but we all have the ability to be creative. The enemy of creativity is comparison. And what that means is like if you maybe paint something and then you look at what your friend painted, then you're like, oh, I'm not artistic. This actually happened to me recently where we went to Pino's palette and we were painting with a group of friends and I looked at my painting and I, what the image I wanted to have of this painting was not what it looked like. And I remember just thinking, wow, I'm really not talented. And I came home and my husband was like, oh, it's such a beautiful painting. And I was like, oh, wow, this is like real love because I didn't think it was beautiful, but it really challenged me to think like, who set the standard of how this painting was supposed to be in order to qualify as a beautiful painting. It was my creative effort. I made it. I made it how I thought I wanted it to look. And that's how I expressed myself on a piece of paper. If you've ever watched a child being creative, it's so interesting because there's no pressure for them to be perfect. Like when they're coloring or they're playing with Play-Doh, they don't have this like preset idea of this Play-Doh thing that I'm making needs to look this perfect way. And it has to be exactly how like the picture of the thing that I'm trying to make looks like. They just do it and they're just creative. This morning, we actually played with something that I never even knew existed. It's like a form of slime. It's called butter, cloud butter, and it's Play-Doh slime combo, but it's so cool. And as we were making it, we were making these little balls and just creating like my daughter calls it like she's making cookies and she makes different type of cookies. And I literally didn't even realize the time was flying by because we were really having fun. I just want to share this idea of allowing yourself to be creative, allowing yourself to make things and create things and not compare yourself with anybody. My challenge for all of us is to get in the habit of making things. Think about your favorite way for you to practice creativity. What's the way that you used to love being creative, but you haven't practiced in a while? An example for me recently, one of my coworkers, I noticed that she likes to crochet. And I just thought about that. I was like, wow, I haven't crocheted since I was like eight years old. And my grandmother was teaching me how to do it. I was like, that would be fun. And I really haven't gotten back into it and even knitting. But I just thought, wow, yeah, I really used to enjoy that. And I remember my grandmother taught all of us, my cousins and I, how to knit. And we had to knit a sweater. I believe I was like eight years old when we had to make the sweater. And what was funny was that the sweaters were not worthy of wearing anywhere, but we were so proud of our work. And we would just go to my grandma's house in the evening as we all lived in the same gated community. And we would all go to her house after dinner and we would like practice our knitting steps. And we would sit there and just recite neat and pearl, neat and pearl. As I think about this memory, it's such an interesting thing for me because I can't visualize the item that I was making, but I can just visualize and feel the emotion at the time in my eight-year-old mind that I was enjoying it so much and there was no pressure. The funny thing was that my mom could not knit to save her life. And I just thought it was cool that I had a skill that my mom didn't have and at such a young age. 
And as I grew older, I remember in school, we had to knit like socks for like a little baby. And I thought, okay, that's not something I'm interested in. But after we made it, I was like, oh, cool. I could give this to one of my baby cousins. I honestly don't know what happened to the socks, but it was just a fun process. So think about something that you used to love and you haven't done in a while and just carve out space in your day to do it and just enjoy it. Even like playing with your kids saying, hey, when I was a kid, I used to do X, Y, and Z. You want to do it with me? It's also a way to express yourself and bond with your kid, but like really feed into that inner child. And then think about like a creative class that you've always wanted to take. Just take the class, allow yourself to make mistakes. I feel like as adults, we have this like preconceived notion of not making mistakes and making it everything perfect and allow yourself space to be creative and enjoy it. Share your gifts with the world. You never know who's going to love it. So as far as comparison and letting go of comparison, now remember we talked about letting go as the idea of really getting rid of the things that are going to slow our progress. So when you find yourself getting caught up in attention, pay attention to that. Like find yourself getting caught up in comparison. Pay attention to it. Look at words and say, how does this make me feel? What does comparison feel like for you? Once you've identified how that feels, what part comes up for you? Now, return your focus within and then clarify your intention. If you start comparing yourself to another person, ask yourself, what is it that you're looking for in yourself that that person has that makes you feel that you have to get there? Another thing I really like to suggest is the idea of analyzing your values and what you say your values are. I took a class last fall and it was a leadership class, but one thing that we, we discussed was like the idea of values. One of the assignments we had was like, write down what you think your values are and then compare your life right now and see if it actually is congruent to what you said your values are. So an example I had for myself was balance is a value of mine. And I had to really be honest with myself and say, okay, even as, as far as this class is concerned, is my life balanced right now? Am I really giving to everything in my life at my best? Or am I just like giving little pieces of myself because I have no balance? Think about your values, write them down, and then ask yourself, how is your life reflecting those values? Because your values are different from my values. And so sometimes even the people you're comparing yourself with, they have a totally different set of values. Maybe balance is not your value. If that's not your value, what is your value? And how is your life reflective of that? As far as creativity, what's important for you right now in your current situation? Is it the ability to just like make something fun or is it the ability to decorate your house and just enjoy the creative process? Whatever it is for you, pay attention to it and then actually plan on doing it. 